Namaskar. In today's session, let us do the second activity. All right, let's start. Activity two. Circuit assembly. Aim of this activity is to assemble the components of a given electrical circuit. Apparatus used is a DC source, an emitter and a voltmeter of appropriate range, rheostat and a single plug key. Other materials required, an unknown resistance, connecting wires, and a piece of sandpaper to clean the leads of the connecting wires. Of course, we should clean the leads of the connecting wire using a sandpaper before you start connecting the circuit. All right. This is the given circuit diagram where E is the battery that is DC source. K is the single plug key, RH is the rheostat, X is the unknown resistance, voltmeter and a milliameter. Alright, now you must have realized that this circuit diagram is similar to that which we used in activity 1. Right? So let us understand the procedure. First, we have to identify the given components and then using these given components, connect the electrical circuit as shown in the circuit diagram. Alright, now let us consider the circuit and identify the given components. So this is the DC source. All right, so we have a DC source. This is the DC source which we'll be using. This is the positive terminal of the source and this is the negative terminal of the source. All right, next we have a milliameter. This is the milliameter. Next we have a resistance. You can see here there is a resistance. All right. Here in this activity, I'll be using nichrome wire having some resistance, but the value of its resistance is not known. Hence, we call it unknown resistance. So, X is the unknown resistance. So you can see here there is a wire which is mounted on this wooden board as I explained it in my first video. Right? Next we have a voltmeter. You have already seen such a voltmeter. Right? Next what we have is the rheostat. Alright? So let us see the rheostat. This is the rheostat. Now what remains is the key. This is the symbol for the key. Of course, the symbol shows that it is closed. Here is a key which is open. Alright? So we have already identified the components. Now let us connect the circuit as per the circuit diagram. All right. We'll start from the positive terminal of the DC source. As you know, milliameter is used to measure the current in the circuit. Hence, it should be connected in series with the DC source. So the positive terminal of the milliameter should be connected to a point which is at higher potential. So it is shown the positive terminal of the source 
is connected to positive terminal of the milliameter and the negative terminal of the milliameter is connected through all the components to the negative terminal of the source all right so let's get started the positive terminal of the dc source is connected to the positive terminal of the milliameter next The negative terminal of the milliameter is connected to one end of the unknown resistance. Now, let us see where we have to connect the other end of the unknown resistance. The other end of the unknown resistance is connected to the variable terminal of the rheostat. So, in this circuit, this is the variable end of the rheostat. All right. Now, let us connect the fixed end of the rheostat. The other fixed end of the rheostat is connected to one end of the key. Next, all right, the other end of the key is connected to the negative terminal of the DC source. Now, what remains is the voltmeter. Positive terminal of the voltmeter is connected to that end of the resistance wire where the positive terminal of the source is connected. Next. The negative terminal of the DC source is connected to the other end of the unknown resistance. Hence, the negative terminal of the voltmeter is connected to that end. Right? Now, we have already seen how to connect the components part by part. Now, let us see the connections at a stretch. The aim of the activity is to assemble all the given components as shown in the circuit diagram. Right? This is the positive terminal of the source. It is connected to the positive terminal of the milliameter. So, negative terminal of the milliameter is connected through the component to so the negative terminal of the DC source. So, let us connect the negative terminal of the milliameter to one end of the unknown resistance. The other end of the unknown resistance is connected to the variable end of the rheostat. Twist the wires before connection so that maximum current flows through the circuit. This is the variable end of the rheostat which is connected to this variable point. The other fixed end of the rheostat is connected to one end of the key. I am using a crocodile clip to connect. The other end of the key is connected to the negative terminal of the DC source. Right? The voltmeter is connected across the unknown resistance. So, the positive terminal of the voltmeter has to be connected to that point which is at higher potential. That is the point where the positive terminal of the source is connected. The negative terminal of the source is connected to the other end of the resistance where the negative terminal of the voltmeter is connected. Alright. Now, instead of voltmeter, I can use a multimeter. So, the multimeter can be used as voltmeter.
After switching on the circuit, we can insert the key. Here I have not switched on the circuit. All right. Measuring the DC voltage, we can select the DC voltage range on the multimeter. All right. So the components are connected as per the given circuit diagram. So the result is the given components were assembled as shown in the circuit diagram. Wasn't that easy? In the first video, we got introduced to different instruments which we will be using in the laboratories. In the second video, we understood the role of some of the components and also understood where to place them in the circuit. In this video, we learned how to assemble the given components, that is, how to connect the circuit. That's all in this session. See you next time.